right. So I'm here with James Moll. Hi, James. How are you? Good. How are you? All right, good. It's Paul Slackis, and we're with Good News Planet, and we're going to talk about a movie called Farmland. We have a sign behind us here, and uh, nice F-A-R-M-L-A-N-D. So give us a little history of the film. You're the director. Congratulations. And we're here at the Tribeca Film Festival, and that's quite exciting to be in that festival. And uh, tell us about the movie. I've, been, I've made quite a few documentaries on other subjects, uh, lots of different subjects. And for a long time, I've been the guy at the grocery store shopping, picking up a piece of fruit and uh, thinking, where does this come from? You know, I grew up right in the middle of Los Angeles and I, I've never been on a farm. So I've always had that curiosity. And it was one of the things that I thought, someday I'm going to make a, make a film about this. And with Farmland, I got that chance. All right. So, and how did that come around to be? I mean, uh, you conceived of the movie or a writer came and found you or how'd that work out? No, I, I was approached by an organization of farmers and ranchers who wanted to, uh, uh, they had an idea that a, do a documentary uh, exploring farming and ranching would be a good thing. So they came to me. And at first I said no, because I thought, if I'm going to do this, it's going to be my perspective. I don't want to make a film for some, someone else's perspective. Um, but ultimately, I said, you know, if I were to do this, I would make it about the next generation of farming. I would focus on farmers in their 20s who are either uh, poised to take over their family farm or who have already taken over a family farm. And because I'm also interested in the uh, new technologies and new methods of farming and that sort of thing. So uh, and they said, you know, we like that idea. That would be great. And I said, well, ultimately, also, I, I need to have final cut. I don't know if you want to get into this kind of stuff, but I said, if I can make my film my way, then I want to make it. Oh, that's all good. I, I think it's kind of novel, though, the initially to have an organization come and say we want to want a film made about what we're doing, right? I mean, that to begin with is sort of like unorthodox. No, not really. No? Oh, no. Well, so once again, I'm wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, funding for documentaries comes from so many different places. Okay. Every film I've made has been something different, whether it's for a nonprofit organization or whether you know, it, 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 it's always different. Sometimes I have to go out and seek it and, and you know, and beg, borrow, and steal. And other times, uh, for example, for my next film, I shouldn't have brought that up because now you're going to ask me what it is. But it's, again, someone coming to me and saying, you know, we would like to make a film on this subject, and we think we can put the financing together. Are you interested? Okay, so then who, who wrote it? Because, in essence, this organization had some vision, and now they need to have, you know, being professionals in this industry, you know, somebody who really makes the book. I love the question about who wrote it when, when it comes to documentary. Because, to me, a documentary... Of course, it's written, but it's sort of not written because right. uh, it's what's really happening in in life. But right. of course, it's you know it has to be edited down. I, I, I can't encapsulate everything a farmer does into ninety minutes. To me, uh, the, the writing starts with me and my cinematographer uh, on the on the uh, locations filming the the. Uh, the footage and then it continues in the editing room and it becomes a collaboration between me and the editor and that's sort of really where the, the the writing takes place so you're sort of a cinema verite kind of guy what's out there is where we go from and move it from that point forwards very much so yeah and, and interviews i love interviews i don't necessarily like being interviewed you're doing great though here i mean um but <laughs> but i do uh I love conducting interviews, and that's, to me, uh, of all the films I've done are, are, are really structured around those interviews. Okay, so let's get to the movie. So what, what did, uh, so what, those interviews, what, what did you ask of these people? Everything. I, 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 I sort, of, sort of what you said to me before we started this. You said, I know nothing about it. I want to just learn from scratch because anyone else watching at home isn't going to know anything either. That's the way I approach the interview. So I go in and I'm like, what do you, who are you? Okay. What do you do? How did you start? Where, and then from there, based on their answers, you start to get clues about what to do for follow-up questions and uh, exactly what you're doing right now. <laughs> Be a good listener. And so yeah, exactly. and then kind of follow forth. That's right. Um, so, so what were some of the kinds of things that came out of each of those uh, conversations? Uh, oh, there's so much. I'm sure. There's, well, you know, it's yeah. 90 minutes worth of movie and probably 7, 10 hours of, 20 hours of taping. Yeah, there's, so, so much. But the main thing that I'd like, people to come away with is a sense that they now know a farmer Good. because that for me it's you know that was one of my personal goals and and 
I definitely achieved it by going there and experiencing it. So if now, uh, together with the editor and the cinematographer and the producer and the rest of the filmmaking team, if we've created something that can relay that experience that we had in making the movie, then I'm happy. So uh, do, we, do we get a sense by the end of the movie about generations? Because since they're all four or five or six generation uh, farm families, do we, we feel and sense that? Yeah, for sure. Um, a lot of farm families are multi, multi-generational. Although in the film, I do profile one farmer who is a first generation farmer who decided I want to start a farm. Mm -hmm. And she has a, a, a very small, what they call a CSA or community supported agriculture right. farm. Um, others that we profiled are six generations. So and that's a big important part of it. And we even covered that talking to their parents about what do you have to do to pass the farm down now to the next generation? And because each of the, I think the people we're going to speak to next in uh, part two of this, um, are all seemed in their 20s or are quite young and, yeah. and, and, and quite educated as well, right? Uh, are, they, are they coming up with new things? Uh, that they run into controversy with the older uh, generation? Or <laughs> they, ha, how, did, how did that come about? There's definitely <laughs> evolution, you know, in, in like with everything in every business. And, um, but I, it's a very good question for them uh -huh. for part two. All right. Okay. So I'll, I'll ask them and you, you won't give away the secrets of each one of them because each one of them are quite fascinating. And they're from all the, and this is a, a movie uh, for, I guess, so far, six or so locations, right? I That's mean, right. Um, so each one from California to Minnesota to uh, Georgia and Texas and uh, so on and so forth. So you, you cover some turf. That's right. It's important to show different types of farming. Farming in Georgia is very different from farming in California. And different, uh, you know, different let's call it product, product. Uh, different types of, uh, from hay to, uh, you know, potatoes and so on and so forth. That's right. To cows and uh, so on. Well, this is great. Well, I think, you know, farmland's the heart of America, you know, and, uh, and I really, uh, we, we have a lot of uh, food in America. We're a very fortunate country, <laughs> aren't we? We do have a lot of food. And yes, we are a very fortunate country. Because of yeah. farmers like this, yeah. and I think well, it's the you know the farmers uh, that I met after having this experience. I certainly came away from it feeling uh, a heightened degree of confidence in our food supply in this country. We are fortunate. That's a good way to put it. And the organics aspect of it, because one of them I think was organically uh, uh, minded. Uh, do you see some tendency, or now that you know more about farming, do you see more people going that way? Oh yeah, I certainly see see more and more people. It's it's. Uh, you know, it's still a smaller segment of, of the market, but uh, there are organics, there are, there are conventional farmers, there's, there's so many different types of farming. But all in all, together, each farmer, they have a lot in common. Even though they may farm very differently and may, may have very different philosophies about farming, they do have a lot in common. All right. As people, which you will find out well, as we you like speak that, to them. Because we are all people. Yeah. Or somebody says, we're all human beings, B-E-A-N-S. That's a farm, yeah, farm joke. Beans. All right, so uh, in any oh, case, <laughs> what's good news for you, lastly? What's, what's good news you personally or say with the movie, whatever you'd like to share with our audience? Good news is that um, I get a chance to be here with you tonight. Okay. <laughs> and that and you're talking me? about farmland. <laughs> okay, well, congratulations then. And is there uh, anything in particular that's good news for you tonight? Uh, the, 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 vice versa, oh, versa right. vice, okay? And because uh, actually I, I love farms and I... Uh, um, so you've spent time on farms. Well, I've, I, you know, I grew up sort of not far from here, but uh, we, there was a farm, and actually it was the Rockefeller State. They had a farm in, uh, in Tarrytown. And, uh, you know, I, that's where it's a lot of times I, I hung out. I like to talk to the cows. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know I, I did well with them. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, I, I think it's, a, it's really a, it's a nice, I think it's a nice lifestyle for a family as well. I agree. I, I've seen, now that I've seen it, but I mean, you're, you're fortunate. I never had that experience. I mean, I have now. Uh -huh. uh, well, I didn't have a close, close experience because it was Rockefeller's estate. But in any case, I was, I saw the animals and, uh, and, and they're, you know, I'm actually a person who believes the animals are us. So, uh, that we're all one. And, uh, and, uh, you know, I just, I think it's a wonderful thing. And do you have a website that you can share uh, as well? Yeah, f uh, for the film, it's farmlandfilm.com. Okay, and for yourself personally, do you have a website? I do. My production company is Allentown Productions because I was born in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Hey, so, uh, uh, yeah, Billy Joel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, a lot of good things. Well, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Thank you.